Well, the Madison Symphony Orchestra will be performing once again next weekend. That's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And here to give us a little preview of their upcoming concert is Maestro John Demain. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are and you? we always love to hear about um, your guest artists. So let's start with that. Who's performing with you next weekend? Henning Kragerud, mm -hmm. Norwegian violinist who's returning for the third time in about six or seven years. I mean, we have really just uh, adored him. He is a joyous player. He makes you feel wonderful while he's playing and the orchestra and myself and he we have a very special rapport together we really enjoy him he takes great care in what the orchestra is doing while he's playing not every soloist is that way mm -hmm. and he thinks much about that and so it makes for a very exciting and very rewarding collaboration and what will he be performing? He's playing for the you? Mozart D major violin concerto. Mo Mozart gave us five violin concertos. This is the fourth. Mm -hmm. Very charming piece. We call the first half of this concert champagne because it's Mozart, and then we get uh, exhilarating and a bit tipsy. So we call the second half <laughs> uh, vodka as we get wild with Shostakovich's Tenth Symphony, which is a wild piece. A and wild why ride. is it wild piece? Why do you say that? Well, the second and fourth movements are exhilaratingly fast. I mean, they are loud, fast, and they will just really get a charge you, you, you get a you, I get a rush every time I was I gonna say do you get it. quite a workout with that too if it's going that fast and yeah your I can keep my weight off fast? this week you know this is this is a good cardio week <laughs> <laughs> so how does that work now we were talking a little bit about it when you have an artist coming in who makes the decision as to what you're going to play well Many years ago, they used to offer tons of concertos. Mm -hmm. Now they tend not to do that. So they tend to try to, and they try to schedule themselves so that they're not playing a different concerto each week if it's oh, possible. Sure. So, but uh, Henning, the, his first two appearances, we played Sibelius and Tchaikovsky. Mm -hmm. So he said to me, you know, I said, what would you like to play the next time you come back? And this is a couple of years ago. We could have changed our minds. And he said, I would love to play some Mozart with you. And I said, you're on. So this is a Mozart um, piece that we don't normally hear, right? Well, or it's not as well known. Of the five concertos, I would say the A major is played all the time. Mm -hmm. The D major is one that every, one, every violinist learns it because it is such a charming piece. And uh, I think that uh, we just, in our schedule of programming, we just noticed that we haven't done it for a while. So I thought it was time to do it. So champagne and vodka. <laughs> Coming up, not literally though. Not literally. Oh, 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 there is an intermission. I don't think we could play <laughs> the Shostakovich tenth if we really had some vodka before we played. Well, that it. might get really fast and interesting <laughs> at that point. But or this really is slow. all occurring. We're really <laughs> slow. There you go. Uh, starting next Friday, and of course they have performances Friday, Saturday, and including a Sunday matinee. Tickets always available at the Overture Center. And once again, we thank you for coming in to give us a preview. Oh, thank you for having me. Thanks.